How many oysters is she going to shock? All of them. We will be going to the beach, but first we have to sneak over to the house and get some mangoes. Melanie does miss all the flowers at the house, but we're here for mangoes. The tree did not do as well this year. We have two or three mango trees. And last year we got a ton of mangoes. And I mean that literally, a ton of mangoes to sell. This year, not so much. But we're bringing these home for us and to give away to the security guards and make mango float. But this is Lamparong. It's in the oyster family. It's just two flat shells and the only thing connecting them is the meat. Generally you steam them or put them on a grill and they pop open when they're done. This is a little different cutting them apart raw, but they are provided the Lamparong by a company that uses the shells for different crafts. They make window glass, lampshades, wind chimes, all kinds of stuff. Very touristy beautiful stuff. They are doing this for one peso per kilo of shells. So you're talking a penny a pound for the shells. But the secret is they get to keep the meat and sell it for a hundred pesos themselves or eat it. This is some of the preps they make with the lamparong. This is the shells that they're selling. They have shucked so many shells it is just unbelievable if you come out here any day of the year they sell these things on the street there's a number of like half a dozen shops selling them but right now it's like peak season for them i don't know they've got tons of them the kids we're not sure what the kids are doing but they're having fun and they're staying quiet generally the shops that sell the lamparong get about say this many per day and they there's half a dozen shops they get them every day but here they just keep getting delivery and more deliveries I don't know where they're coming from well they're coming from the ocean the lamparong are also known as capiz shells lampshade oysters they have all kinds of weird names but basically it's just this two shells with a chunk of meat in between them. And like I said, if you put them on a grill, as the meat cooks, it'll just pop open. But that discolors the shell. So the people that are doing the crafts want the shell raw. So this is all fresh lamparong. They keep pouring seawater on it to keep them fresh. And the whole neighborhood is out shucking and jiving. I was a little confused at first. I was like, a peso per kilo for the shells that's not much but as you can see there is a lot of shells but they get to keep the meat so they get to do their cooking they will be eating lamparong for quite a while and probably be quite tired of it some are selling it they're selling the meat for a hundred pesos per kilo so they get it free and they sell it for a hundred pesos per kilo not a bad deal I'm not big on seafood, but lamparong, when it's grilled and dipped in vinegar and washed down with rum, is not so bad. Melanie doesn't want to be left out, so she's going to start chucking. I think that knife is a little skinny, but others are doing it. Check this guy out on the left of the screen. He is amused by her attempts. Notice she hasn't got it open yet. He keeps looking. And they're making comments about her. They're like, don't cut your hand. Don't, Tim's going to get mad if you hurt yourself. And it's not going well. You notice it's still not open. So she hands it off. She only did one and she never even got it open. And yes, I made fun of her for that. However, I did not do any. Some of these people, as you can see, are much faster at it. You just pop them open, scrape out the meat, keep going. Each family, sitting separately, shucks as much as they shuck, and they get paid 
for the shells that they turn in. Then the whoever owns the shop sells all the big pile of shells back to whoever it is that's paying for this whole endeavor. I'm not sure who that is, but it's a big operation and it's been going on all week. Fun was had by all. This cat is the only one not eating lamperong for dinner. He found his own fish. Obviously, he's in management. If you get tired of shucking, you can come out to the beach. And I'm, I'm amazed. In eight years of living here, this is probably not only the largest beach I've seen, because the beach does change with every storm, but it's the cleanest. I've never seen this beach this clean. It probably won't last. But these are some of the dishes they make. They cook it in salt and ginger. They make kind of a, the bottle is a paste. It's a weird side dish. These are all the goodies she picked from our yard while she was at the house. She's going to take the bananas and boil them and then mash them in the mortar and pestle because we need a food processor and she makes some kind of sweet out of the plantain. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but she likes it. We have more mango than we know what to do with. We gave a bunch away to the staff here at the condo and she's cooking her veggies and this is the food that she has missed. But she got to go back to the house, do some shopping out in the yard and is very happy with her dinner. Overall, it's been a pretty good day. Enjoy your day in paradise.